Hi, this is Peter the Clairvoyant here and I'm looking at Love Tarot for Cancer uh, for the month of December 2017. And and I just feel so, it's like I feel so start to sort of step into December. It's like I feel so one minute we're kind of happy about things and one we're not. And then I just feel so that's kind of generally right across the board with relationships a little bit. But I do feel so the ones of you who are attached I get the feeling some of you are feeling a little bit kind of down at the moment. It's almost like it feels that like you're not quite really reeling in the festive activities at the moment. It's like it feels that the pressure feels on. And other things seem to be weighing you down, like family stuff as well. So it's all kind of affecting you a little bit and, and not helping you to sort of get on with your better off, so to speak. So a bit of difficulty at the moment, a bit of tension around you. But I do feel so as you start to step into the second week of December, you should start to feel a bit more uplifted. So I feel so don't worry too much. You will get there and you will sort things out. So I just feel so just let the, the month sort of ride out. I feel so don't go sort of too overboard trying to make changes. Just keep think everything on a level and I feel so that will get you where you need to be, so to speak. So that's the best way to look at things. But other than that, I just feel so you're okay. I do feel so you can try and sort of get your better off to make changes. I get the feeling you're certainly not happy with certain things that he's doing or you feel like he could be sort of making better use of his time and that will sort of be very important for you because it's like I feel so you want him to do well, you want this person that you're connecting with to get better and then I also feel so you feel like you want to spend more time with each other. So it's uh, the word coming into my mind is time management. And sometimes when we've got children and we've got career and and everything else going on, it's like we haven't always got time for each other. So somewhere on the line, you're going to try and get all these different things sorted out. But this might take a bit of time for it to set in and bed in, so to speak. But overall, you're okay. And I would say there's probably three good festive parties coming up for you as well that I feel as though you should both connect together and enjoy. But do watch out for like a, a stronger person, someone coming in the background, sort of winding your better half up a little bit. So just keep an eye on that a little bit. But other than that, you should be okay. And just try not to worry about the money too much. Obviously, you've got to look after what you've got to be wise with it. But I feel like as long as you're careful with it and you look after it, money should be all right. Now, those of you that are single, I just get the feeling, um, well, I don't feel like anything is rushing sort of coming in. But I do get the feeling, you know, you will have a couple of connections a little bit over the Christmas period. So a bit of joyful fun. And I feel that that's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. But do be careful because I just get the feeling one of these connections could be attached to somebody else. So in other words, you might not realise it, but you could actually be sort of delving into like an affair. Now, I sort of look at affairs in three different ways. Sometimes they can be a good thing. You know, like they can make things better of what's around you already. And then sometimes they can be negative where you get used and abused and it's just not meant to be. Um, so I'm not sort of trying to say, look, affairs are wonderful, but, you know, it all depends on the context and every situation is different. But what I'm feeling here is, I just feel as though it's just somebody who's connecting with you in the heat of the moment. And, and I just feel as though you don't know the other person's connected with somebody else, so it causes a bit of a problem. So do watch out for that. Trust your intuition a little bit if you feel that this person may be with somebody. But, you know, it's maybe just maybe just one night and maybe it doesn't matter too much. Maybe it's just a, a little peck on the cheek, so to speak. But, you know, just be careful what you're doing because I do get the feeling you can get the hard-working men out to play a little bit and they are going to play. So just watch out. OK, but other than that, I just feel as though, you know, um, you know, your single life should be fine through December. I can see, again, some good times coming up again, two or three different good parties coming up. And I can feel a bit of flirtation going on with different sort of situations. But it all feels very good and very light-hearted. But if you're looking for somebody to commit with, December's not the time. So it just feels as though you've just got to start focusing on that now and start turning things around a little bit. But I just feel so as you step into next year, that will be the year for you to plan and sort of bring in the new, so to speak. 
So other than that, I just feel so everything's fine for all of you Cancerians generally. It's not a too bad of a month. It just feels so it's the first half. It's just a little bit tense stuff going on. And, and that's about it. And I feel so other than that, you know, I, I don't get too much negativity. Except just don't overindulge in the parties, that's all. Because it just feels though this is where things could just sort of uh, go a bit wild if you were single. But I feel so if you're attached to somebody, then, you know, you're okay, you're going to be fine. Um, but I do feel overall it's not a bad negative month. But I just feel so. But do think about your friendships as well, connecting with them and bringing them into the, the parties. Because I just feel so some of your friendships are feeling a little bit low this month. So connect with them and enjoy a bit of good times with them. And I just feel so it's all great and it's all wonderful. Let me just see what I get here for an angel card with you for the month of December. Mm, that one wanted fallout then, didn't it? So let's see what this one is. Yeah, just be honest with yourself and speak your truth. So when you've got things to say to your better half or to your friendships or, you know, generally people that you might have not met and you're feeling something's not quite right, then speak your mind, say exactly what you think and feel and then judge the situation as you go along. Okay. Uh, my crystal ball is drawing me to unexpected gifts of people. It's almost like I just get the feeling some of you Cancerians may just get a gift of somebody you didn't think you would have or you thought they might have forgot you or you just wouldn't expect a gift at all. So, you know, it's nice. It just feels that the Christmas cheer is there and it just feels that it's good. And then I'm also being drawn to say as well, just watch your cards. I know I'm talking about love tarot, but I just feel so I'm picking up other things for you that the crystal is telling me. So just keep an eye on your cars a little bit and make sure they're all running right for the cold month coming in. Because this is where it really starts to bite a little bit. And also, I just feel that with that, it's drawing me as you're going out in your parties. Just make sure, you know, you're enjoying yourself. But make sure you've got your right coats with you and everything in the vehicles just in case your car does break down. Okay. Well, I hope all that's made sense to you and, and I wish you a merry happy Christmas and a happy new year and I shall speak to you soon again.